News, Los Angeles. I just love how that always brings people together, too. Mm -hmm. If you go into, like, a city exactly, square, yeah. everyone's watching it. All right, well, as we take a live look over Bentonville, you can see no clouds in the sky this afternoon. And, Matt, everyone wants to know, are we going to see any clouds tomorrow during this annular solar eclipse across five country? It looks like we are. It looks like another batch of clouds is going to move in. It's hard to believe we started so cloudy today. Now it's gotten so clear. And we're going to turn so cloudy again. Another batch of, of thick cloud cover coming in from Nebraska, northern Kansas. This low pressure system is going to help spin it south. So these northwest winds, although they are drying and cooling us out, will eventually also carry some of these clouds coming in from Kansas. And then they're going to sit over us, especially if you live along I-40 or north of I-40. So Boston Mountains, northwest Arkansas, it's probably going to be pretty cloudy tomorrow. The best chance and time to see it will be right around 1145 in the morning. But that's when we're expecting a decent amount of clouds. In the River Valley, we're more partly cloudy. So there might be glimpses where we're able to see that partial solar eclipse if you've got those, those glasses on. But right now, the front is pushing across the natural state. It's pretty much done with Oklahoma. Northwest winds picking up. It's breezy this evening. So yeah, temperatures are going to fall in the 50s, but it's going to feel a lot of times like the 40s because the winds are just so stiff out of the northwest. But we'll have clear skies for much of the evening. So you should be able to see the stars just fine. In the River Valley, we're falling to the 60s, but even for some of our games this evening, says 64, I'd say probably going to feel like closer to 56 or 57 just because of the cool north wind. So make sure you bundle up if you are headed out this evening. You can always take a couple layers off if you got too many on. So what's next? Well, the wind is here and it's going to stay here. It's going to stay here all weekend long, probably last into Monday too. Plus, we're talking about more clouds. Yeah, it's clear now, but more clouds will come in for tomorrow. And with all this cool air, we've also got to talk about a little patchy frost that's going to be coming in uh, for your Monday. But let's talk about your forecast day by day. Let's start with Saturday tomorrow, starting off the weekend. We're mostly cloudy. I hope we can get a couple sun breaks. If you can, you'll briefly be able to see that solar eclipse, uh, especially our best timing would be right around 1145. Uh, in the River Valley, we have more of a mix of sun and clouds. So we'll watch that closely. The temperature is trying to climb towards the 50s. But you're looking at future casts. We keep the northwest winds overnight tonight, but those there are those clouds. So as soon as we get to sunrise, they're here. You're looking close to when the best time is to see the partial solar eclipse and look at us. We're pretty gray, I think. But if you're able to see it, 70, 80 percent of it is covered uh, by the moon in Oklahoma and then 60 to 70 percent of the sun is covered by the moon in Arkansas. We're not going to get the ring of fire effect like folks out west will, but you should be able to see a crescent if you are looking closely. So we're all just watching those clouds that are going to be sinking in from the north. Here's your seven day forecast staying cool the next several days. In fact, 50s all the way through the weekend. We don't get back to the 60s until Tuesday in northwest Arkansas. In the River Valley, lots of 60s all throughout the weekend and then a little bit of 70 activity next week. All right, Matt, thanks. Halloween quickly approaching, or should I say it's just around the corner? <laughs>